Uh, good evening, church. Good morning, church. <laughs> I've got a testimony. I want to testify about what happened the last Sunday, but one. Uh, I had a dream. The Lord has showed me what happened that last Sunday. It was Saturday when I had the dream. I saw a black man. He was outside the church. The black man was holding some juju in his hand. Then I went to meet him, to greet him outside. I was like the usher. When I met him, he said, you see, I've got this juju in my hands. I can be more powerful than Pastor Val. I come here to change, but that is not my intention. I've got other intentions to do. Pastor Val was in the clouds when he said, look, I'll be more powerful than Val. That's what I dreamt about. And that Sunday, when I came to church, that dream, the same things that occurred were just the same as what I was showed by God in my dreams. Wow. Okay, so you felt that something was coming in the church yes. that was not of God, something that had come to destroy the ministry. Yes. Okay, but God had his way. Yeah, God is, had his way. Thank you, Jesus. So the Lord is with us, eh? Yeah, the Lord. You can see the protection we're under here, eh? Yes, I think. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, it's very awesome. We thank God for that. So not every spirit is from God. Yes. Because the man was holding Juju. He wants to be more powerful. The one in your dream that that was standing outside. Yes. He wanted to be more powerful. More powerful than you. Using Juju, but not the power of God. Okay, and we operate in the power of our Lord Jesus yes. Christ here. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you for Jesus. sharing. I like to greet everyone by the name of Jesus Christ. Um, I would like to start by saying what the Holy Spirit uh, revealed the last time we were here. Firstly, uh, the Holy Spirit said today I must first address by telling everyone because he sees the hearts of many people. Some of y'all are basically confused of what's happening. But today he likes to reveal to everyone that what happened here was a journey of a man's end. By saying that he brought a certain man to this place so that his powers will be seen what he has and what op- what is operating with and he had so much trust by pastor vel that's why he brought this man here so his i don't know what to say but his works of the devil that's what i will put will be put to stop so he wanted everyone to be certain that Pastor Vell was chosen by him. He chose Pastor Vell to break spirits like this, powers of people who operate by the works of the evil, by the works of the enemy. So he has so much faith by wow. you. So much faith. Don't be confused. Don't feel like you don't see or you don't mm. hear from God. You do. Yes. Remember, yes, I uh, Judas. Mm. Jesus knew that Judas was going to betray him, mm. but still he went along with him. Yes. He knew that he was going to betray him. Yes. But still, that's right. He was with him. Yes. So what happened in that scripture mm. was happening to you now. Exactly. Exactly. Judas was going to betray him, but Jesus knew Mm. that's what God wants you to know. Wow. And so it's amazing how God protects us. Okay. So as we say, things may look good and great out there to the world, but when you come here, you will be exposed. Okay. Um, So if you're coming against this ministry, um, the Lord will intervene. Um, he won't, you know, just remember what I spoke about earlier on with Moses and Aaron. You know, the, the, the devil could not override God's power and, uh, and God had his way. So oh, let's just give God all the praise and glory. Okay, all right. So he took me down into visions and dreams and showed me the truth. 
that set me free. Hallelujah. Hello, friends. Thank you so much for watching the videos. Praise the Lord. See our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za for more details about attending our services. Sign up to our newsletter, become a monthly giver, or donate to our ministry. And friends, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and share this video. God bless you.